today on Rappler. The Boston bomber is found guilty and faces life imprisonment. Former Philippine President Gloria Arroyo asks for house arrest. And new HIV cases in the Philippines hit an all-time high in February of 646. Hello and welcome. I'm Maria Ressa. This is Rappler's Rap for the Day, a list of the most important events around the world you shouldn't miss. An American jury unanimously convicts Boston bomber Zokar Tsarnaev of carrying out the worst attack in the U.S. since the 9-11 bombings. After a day and a half of deliberations, the jury found him guilty of all 30 charges related to the April 15, 2013 attacks. The charges include the murder of a police officer, a carjacking, and a shootout while on the run. The 21-year-old former student now faces life in prison without parole. He may also face the death penalty during the second phase of his trial. Twin blasts rocked the Boston Marathon on April 15, 2013. Three were killed, while, 17, while 264 were wounded. The Philippines, the U.S., and Japan vow to work together on maritime security and fighting terrorism. President Benigno Aquino and the two envoys make the promise on the anniversary of the fall of Bataan in 1942, when U.S. and Philippine forces surrendered to Japanese invaders. U.S. Ambassador Philip Goldberg says, quote, Yesterday's enemies are today's allies and strategic partners. Aquino cites the assistance extended by the U.S. and Japan when Super Typhoon Haiyan hit the country in 2013. Japanese Ambassador Kazuhide Ishikawa says Japan had since become a democratic nation, a close partner and ally of the Philippines and U.S. The Philippines and Japan are broadening security cooperation at sea as, a two, as the countries deal with maritime territorial disputes with an increasingly aggressive China. Former President Gloria Arroyo is asking for house arrest. Arroyo's lawyers cite humanitarian considerations as reasons to place the jailed ex-president under house arrest. Arroyo is detained at the Veterans Memorial Medical Center over a 366 million peso plunder charge. Her camp says she is suffering from multiple cervical spondylosis and continues to be in a delicate condition. The motion comes a day after anti-graph court Sandigan Bayan denied the motion to dismiss her case. The Filipina mother of a teenager who committed suicide in Hong Kong is released on bail. Herminia Garcia was arrested on suspicion of, quote, ill treatment or neglect of a child or a young person. Garcia was reportedly a former domestic helper who overstayed her visa for 20 years. That was partly why she, she was hesitant to apply for birth certificates for her daughters. Garcia's lawyers ask she be released on bail on humanitarian grounds. Herminia's British partner, Nick Cousins, has not been charged with any offense and is being investigated for aiding the overstay. Cousins is the managing director of insurance broker Jardine Lloyd Thompson in Hong Kong. Initial media reports say the teenager who fell from an upscale apartment was unhappy. She and her younger sister had never attended school because they did not have identity papers. Garcia's lawyer denies this and says the girls were enrolled in an education center. The Philippine Health Department reports a total of 646 new cases of HIV infections in February in the Philippines. This is the highest number since the Philippines' first case in 1984. About 84% of the 586 cases are males who have sex with males. Other ways of transmission include needle sharing among drug users with 58 cases and mother-to-child transmission with two cases. A total of 23,709 HIV-positive cases and 1,149 deaths were reported from 1984 to 2015. For those on desktop, click on the links on your screen. You can also click on the tabs below to go to a story in the video. And for those on smartphones and tablets, the links can be found below the video. Rappler has a patented user engagement model that puts a mood meter on every story. If we take a look at the mood navigator in the middle of the front page, this crowdsources the mood of the day. If you take a look at the story that's gotten the most number of votes is this one. 
Japan man who paid for sex with 12,000 women in the Philippines, 12,000, arrested. What? 46% angry and 21% amused, but that red carrying the mood of the day. Today, most people are angry. Well, that's the wrap for today, Thursday, April 9th, 2015. Visit Rappler.com for the latest news here and around the world. Check out our other shows, Side Tech for You and Rappler Talk. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Maria Ressa. As we say at Rappler, tomorrow begins today.